but first I want to talk to you <laughs> who I am <laughs> uh, and why I'm standing here. Uh, in fact, I'm here because uh, I hate uh, Java and all of that kind of stuff. <laughs> stuff. And I started a, a little company with two friends of mine to work in <laughs> small talk, and small talk pushes me to uh, uh, make new tools to develop my work better. <laughs> and <laughs> this is wha what I'm trying to share with you today. Uh, also, I have some other tools for the community, but uh, what all of these tools wasn't uh, uh, doesn't work it was for make me uh, speak a little bit better of English, so you are going to uh, be patient. You, you need to be patient with me, <laughs> please. <laughs> Uh, I have problems to start, but I think uh, in a few slides I can talk a little bit uh, fluid, fluid, a little bit better. <laughs> uh, please uh, be patient. Uh, so, CSI is so cool that is the framework which brings me back to the small talk community three years ago. Why? Because. Uh, for the first time in a lot of years, I, I, I could be, I could uh, build applications, web applications, wh which customers will wa uh, would want. Of course, uh, uh, most of the time I don't say them that there is built on small talk, but when they see the results, they it doesn't matter anymore, and <laughs> it's, a, it's a straightforward uh, from that. Uh, in fact, uh, the next talk I will be show, showing to you uh, a product made with Seaside and with this, this uh, tool I'm showing you now. Uh, so if Seaside is so cool, <laughs> and I really believe that, why we need just another tool on top of that. Um, well, uh, sorry, I didn't know that. I'm going to wake up because I'm a little bit nervous and I prefer to be, uh, to walk a little bit. Well, uh, why we need another tool? And a, a tool to uh, manage, manage uh, Ajax. Well, the main reason is because even with great packages as uh, the jQuery and prototype and JavaScript packages uh, who came with Seaside 3.0, uh, dealing with Ajax is hard. It's very hard. And uh, what Lucas and his team uh, did with those packages are uh, a port of those libraries to uh, the small talk world. But you are still using uh, jQuery as jQuery expects you use it. And that is not very uh, small talkish. Why is not? Because it's not, it's not a component model. You're always dealing with uh, HTML, uh, jQuery, load something or HTML, uh, jQuery, ID something, do something else, and, and then uh, refresh that, that div and all of that kind of things. And we want a component model with, with a very uh, complete object-oriented uh, behavior. And that is what Riff is trying to achieve. Achieve, achieve, achieve. Well, you, you understand me. I hope. Uh, uh, it's not a replacement for Seaside, but a complement. You don't write full applications on Riff. You use Riff 
to make your Ajax and JavaScript parts of Seaside, <laughs> of your Seaside application. And that's the uh, uh, solution we, we, try, we, we are trying to reach. Right. And what's the problem wi with that approach? It's, it's, it's very difficult to uh, create a behavior like uh, a behavior, uh, like a component model, like uh, CISA uh, started to uh, propose in his fr uh, in his non-Ajax versions with call, answer, and all the kinds of interactions between components in a world which is half in the browser and half and the other half in the server. So we, we want to create. Uh, metaphor that allow us to work uh, in both sides same way and as transparent as possible. So, we are I am going to talk a little bit about, a bit about the architecture and then I'm going to demo <laughs> all of this because otherwise it's not going to be understandable. What I did and this is the unique imagine <laughs> in all my presentation, I'm sorry for that, but uh, I didn't have the time to create a great <laughs> presentation, uh, and not the talent also, but well, <laughs> well, I add in a, with what I call a dispatcher, which is rendered to a Seaside application. What's a dispatcher? It's a div. It's a div area where I, using jQuery, uh, insert all the uh, all the pushes to the uh, to the browser, all the changes uh, who needs to be managed by JavaScript or AJAX. It's an area uh, who controls all the behavior on the client. And of course, it can add a little bit of overhead of requests on between the server and the client. For instance, uh, for updating a field, I first push the, data to, uh, the, the update to the dispatcher, and the dispatcher fires the update into the client and all back. But uh, I think it's uh, very low that overhead uh, is not so so much and, and right now it's working as i said it uses jquery and behind but you you don't know uh, you don't need to uh, write your own uh, jquery code you use plain objects uh, that statement is because uh, the first version I made uh, it was with CSI 2.8 and there wasn't a jQuery package. I made a jQuery package with Sebastian Sastre, who is not here, and we used both bo both pa packages to make the render. But with the result of you have to download prototype, spectaculos, <laughs> jQuery, <laughs> and that was not fun. But Fortunately, there is no more there. You just need jQuery now. And it's, it follows, uh, as possible, the same uh, pattern as Seaside. As possible, with a lot of changes because uh, we don't have to render a canvas, but we, but, but just we just be who, who you are using. Uh, And of course, if this is a seaside extension, you have to you be able to add to any seaside part and any uh, Rift component, uh, I call it views, uh, can be transformed to a component by calling uh, as component. Uh, in fact, they are wrapped right in. 
no lo puedo pronunciar bien, no importa. Eh, in a, eh, suicide, in a suicide component. Well, another picture. Uh, more or less, you get the basic idea of the framework. It's okay? Cool. <laughs> Let's begin. Well, the component model works like this. You create your components by extending a container, which is a panel or a form or whatever you want, uh, who contains widgets. And the widgets uh, can be uh, uh, placed anywhere. Uh, anywhere. Uh, right now, there are not so much widgets because I don't need it, but almost uh, every widget needed for making forms and basic input data are there. So this is the first demo <laughs> where I show you a basic application of this. Well, no. Well, I created a class name the demo web, web application, which is a single uh, seaside component. Okay. First, at, at all, I have to install it as an, uh, as an application, and that's the first difference. We use a class named uh, application, which in fact uh, wraps the, our application by for rendering the dispatcher area. It's not mandatory, you can do your own uh, 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 your own uh, application, but you need to render the dispatcher area because other way there is no possible to interact. That dispatcher area, as I said, is a simple is a simple uh, div. Uh, and I have a term for jQuery because we interact a lot with jQuery and we need those styles. The Let's do, uh, for example, a simple login, uh, which is uh, usually a place where we want Ajax and JavaScript to validate uh, to validate the fields, uh, right? While type, typing or, or focusing or blurring the the, the component, and it's a good example. So our login component, the easiest way to do it is this. Uh, another component. This is a grid, which is, it renders a table, but it's a little bit uh, easier to use. I'm adding now a text field. A password okay. and uh, no, yourself here and ask component here. Mm. 
forgot the name of the password field. Okay. This is the easiest example in a non-extension but a composite a component. We need to add this. And of course, I'm forgetting something, no? Yeah, I, yeah, I'm forgetting to add a sign in button, but we'll see, we'll see it later. So we did install that, this. I think that was already installed. But and it doesn't work because then, ah, I didn't declare username and password. Sorry, this is the boring part of the demonstrations, but my English is not enough to make jokes about or something. <laughs> so, <laughs> there is it. And this is a stupid demo because it's not doing anything. Uh, in Ajax right now. Right now it's just rendering, but I wanted to show right now the component model we are using here. We are not uh, dealing with uh, HTML tags even without, uh, even without the, uh, the canvas, the seaside canvas. For, uh, that allows me to make some nice thi things like create tables with uh, grid component which can be uh, changed at any time to render, for example, divs in instead a table or anything. And it's very uh, comfortable to work, at least for me right now. <laughs> Let's continue with next slide. Sure. There, is, there, is, sorry. there is a thing with a uh, H, uh, HTML. Uh, the first time uh, it was created, uh, they decide that the buttons were submit the forms, and and I think that's a very bad approach. A button is a button and should trigger an action, any kind of action. Perhaps to uh, submit the form, but. Uh, it's not uh, mandatory. So I changed that and uh, form, uh, form uh, widgets can be submitted and form tags, uh, form, uh, yeah, the form widgets and the form widget. <laughs> yeah. Form widgets are an input text or a combo or <laughs> something like that. Uh, can be triggered or submitted, and the same happens with the panels. Panels are uh, wrapped in divs, and that's the areas that where you can uh, refresh the window. Where a div, because uh, that's the way Ajax works. <laughs> you can refresh a div completely, but not an input text. An input text has to be inside uh, a div. With that, uh, we create callbacks and uh, with triggers or, uh, or example. Uh, and that's what I want to show you now. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to try to no, not stand up again. This? No, I can enlarge 
but not maximized. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah. Okay. So let's add a button outside the grid. with a label and the callback uh, right now I want to show you some so it's not going to it's not going to do much more but trigger and trigger there are two methods name it trigger and trigger then then do because you trigger something and after it's asynchronous, it's an asynchronous call because it's going to the browser and going back. And then you want to do something. So you have to uh, pass the, the, the subsequent uh, action. And for now, I want just to inform this, which is nothing but Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. You can log now. Log now. <laughs> what happened? Mm. Little detail. Ouch. Another one. No way, because self is not a form, <laughs> and that's where it begins to become ugly. And that's why we extend form to do these thing, these things. And we, wa we can show the triggering. Just one. Refresh. And it's working, okay. So next step of this is using all the callbacks that we can. What's the problem with, ah, I promise it, I, I wasn't walk again, so <laughs> I stay, sit. Uh, what's the problem with the callbacks? We have three types of callbacks in, an, in, in a web application. We have callbacks who uh, renders a new page, which is the last one listed there. We have canvas, uh, callbacks which changes something in the, uh, in the client si client side and doesn't work doesn't goes to to the server and we have a, a callbacks which makes an action and then executes some other things for example that was that that I show here this thing is going is telling the dispatcher that the Form should trigger and on success do an action. This is what it is being transformed, how it is being transformed. Uh, and that's the overhead problem, I say. But that allows me to do things like this. Uh, um, for example, let's use not this field, but the demo validable fields which I created before the presentation because uh, there, there was no time.
what does this fill? I will show you that it creates a panel with a text field with a event who triggers the the field and make some validates and show uh, some errors in time. For example, this time I'm going to show uh, I'm going to uh, validate that is a required field. If I do this and test it, it is uh, updating. Uh, the panel area right there. So we can add other kind of validations. Yes. No, no, that's a uh, blur and focus. I I wrap the blur event. Uh, so I, maybe uh, it was too too fast. <laughs> Let me see. Second, when I created. When I create the button, I'm wrapping the blur because that, that's where I want to validate the input. Yeah, this, this is the trick. We, we, usually, we usually use Ajax and JavaScript to make this kind of uh, operations on the website. That's why I choose this as an example. <laughs> um, then we can add for uh, another kind of uh, validations. For example, uh, Okay. Yes. And of course, what gives us uh, what uh, what is useful for this is because we can reuse these components which with which I created just for the demo, and create uh, uh, after this create. Uh, complex form with complex validations, it becomes uh, almost trivial and you don't have to uh, create all the logic of the uh, jQuery to reload all this, all this stuff. And you don't have to uh, take care about the IDs or something. This framework uh, manage that uh, alone. So, there are another problem, which is uh, sometimes you render s something and you want to do something in the client and do something in the server at the same time. Or you want to know if you are in a JavaScript context, or I mean a small rendered part or a full page part. Uh, For that, uh, we use a, a simple context method which allows us to make something like this. And now we need to use this because we are draw drawing directly to the to a, a browser and this need to be a, a understandable a JavaScript sentence and we are doing both contents in the same place. Uh, this, al this allows a lot of functionality which I'm going to show you in the next talk. <laughs> but. Uh, starting next <laughs> this talk. Yeah. And I know I'm boring you, so 
You can relax, take a break, count to 10, and we can follow a little bit more. This is going to be uh, very quick. Uh, the way oh, uh, the way we used to to uh, uh, add functionality to the forms is using decorations. Decorations are very useful in Seaside, and I extended uh, it to any widget we can use. We can add any kind of decorations. For example, uh, for formatting uh, fields or something uh, like that, uh, that can be made this way. This is going to be quick. <laughs> Thank you. So this is hard work in JavaScript, and we added very easily using uh, jQuery plugins, but uh, they are already in the framework, and it's very easy for you to add it by extending using decorations, which is what is this is on. In fact, that, uh, that message I sent adds two decorations, one for the uh, pop-up and one for validating inside because you are doing something like this. It formats your field even without, I didn't type it, type it the slash. So there are two uh, plugins running with just one method call. call. Uh, there are a little bit more. Well, the plugins was the, that demo, and there are no more demos. Uh, I'm reaching the final of my talk in time. Let me see. What time is it? Uh, we are in time. Anyway, the other guy will be. Well, uh, this is what there are. There are not so much components because I just added those components I need. What, what, it, what uh, there are now are some very complex components like a carousel or a filter, a dynamic filters <laughs> or uh, something like that. But they are there because I, I need it and I created. <laughs> but it's very simple. You a, a carousel. You you create and just add slides, and it handles all the functionality for you, and it's really easy. And well, right now just it's used just for me. So please use it. And criticism sir, is very good, <laughs> and feedback without criticism is better. Yes, yes, uh, I forgot to say that. Uh, because uh, there is no uh, uni uh, uh, the, there is not uh, just a, a, a own project for this right now, but next week will be, <laughs> I forgot, but right now it's here. I forgot it. There is where I'm putting all my stuff. <laughs> it's, it's, it, this is my uncharted of Lucas. There is where I throw everything I, I do, it, and it is there. It's a very small package. It's very nice to use. Uh, other questions? More questions? No? Well, thank you. Uh, ah. Yes, in fact, it is not working with Seaside 2.8. <laughs> it 
there is a version for CSI 2.8, which is named Dynamic Components, which is the older name of this. Uh, and, and it is in officials too. But uh, that, that is the one who is working with prototype and jQuery, so <laughs> you better don't use it. Another one? Well, uh, we are going to take a two minutes rest because I have to go to the bathroom. And we continue with the next presentation and I think it will, it will be a little bit more nice because <laughs>